Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't even trip. We got you. What's up, y'all? You're on Don't Trip Podcast. It's your host, David and Justice. In the What's building. up, everybody? Y'all, and on this week's episode, we are joined by a comedian named Jamel Johnson in L.A. <laughs> if you're on the video, go check this out right now. My man, this is funny. He's jokes, but he's jokes. We're going to get to know him in a little bit, but if you're new to this show, this is um, Don't Trip, where advice is no price. We'd be offering advice to our fans through Instagram DMs. Go ahead and submit whatever questions you got for us in there. We'll try our best to get to them. We got a bunch of different segments, simping or pimping, talking, talk, all that talk. We, we just be doing it. So, we are branching out a little bit. We got different, all these different segments kind of take off the advice, but don't forget we are an advice podcast. If you ever need anything, just hit the Don't Trip Boys up. We'll try to get y'all right. But on today's segment, we're going to get to know our guest star, and then we've got a story. Ooh, I don't even think we got a caller, but we got some high questions for y'all. It's been a minute since some high questions, so we're going to bring in some questions that might kind of stump a lot of people, but we're going to give our best interpretation of the question and try to maybe even solve the question, get y'all right. All right. So first off, Jamel, tell us a little about yourself, man. Johnson, uh, I'm a Virgo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm from uh, Woodbridge, Virginia. I tell people I'm from DC because <laughs> it's cooler. Yeah. Uh-huh. But DMV. went to high school in Woodbridge. Lost my virginity in Woodbridge. I'm from Woodbridge. <laughs> okay. I think you have to say that. Shout out mm-hmm. Woodbridge. Yeah, Woodbridge, the land. Uh, that's where all the strippers live. Oh. For my uh, DMV strippers. people, <laughs> they're either in Calvert. Or Woodbridge, okay. uh, one of two locations. God okay. uh, asked me. I've been doing stand up like twelve years. Okay, been in L.A. the last six. Uh, played basketball today. I uh, went uh, two for six from the field. Okay, couple boards, solid day. Couple steals, you know. Solid couple nice day. little outlet passes. Couple, you know, transition finishes. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying no turnovers. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's, That's a dubs. big one. Four dubs. Four dubs. No, no turnovers is crazy. crazy. There we go, Draymond. Okay, tell us about uh. <laughs> he said, he said you "Don't see me." All right. <laughs> Tell us about your you host a podcast as well, right? Yeah, yeah, Airbuds. Okay. Uh, Air, Airbuds, the Airbuds podcast. It's just uh, three dumb guys talking about basketball, mm-hmm. and then kind of whatever else, you know. Like who's your team? The Wizards. The Wizards. The Wizards. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's it yeah, is what y'all. it is. That's your hometown. Got to stay true. And I'm rocking. We got Monte Morris. Monte, if you're watching. College boy. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. So get on the pub, man. Y'all All got right, that bro. young boy Clues out there. Clues mm-hmm. finna go about Clues. I can't believe we ripped the Lakers off. Yeah. I know, right? It never in a million years would I ever think we would be the guys who ripped the Lakers off. Okay. Clues is a hooper now. Clues is amazing. Yeah, if he if he gets right, if he's in mental mentally ready, yeah. he can get he can I get think they focused. LA. I think LA was kinda on his ass. Right. Yeah. Everybody was being real mean to him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't get no Ubers. <laughs> <laughs> he so, was walking I, everywhere, taking them. Scooters. A perfect change of pace for the man. For sure. And I hope he stays. I feel like he got it's, ten years. For sure. Like, good buck is coming. Say less. Right. Tell us about your uh, Comedy Central set. What you going there for? Okay, uh, I draw. I was like, it's like nine and a half minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, they filmed it up on my side of town at the okay. lodge room. Yeah. And um, yeah, honestly, it's it's about uh, me being too fat to have sex. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. It's not that I'm not having it. Right, right, right. It's just the stamina is an issue. Okay. And so that's kind of the basis of... That's why we play basketball. That's what I'm saying. That's why we're back in the gym. That's why we're working on yeah. triple threat positions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we're, working on, we're working on a solid finishing. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, uh-huh. I mean, it's pretty pretty goofy. I'm wearing a jacket that I got at Burlington Coat Factory. Shout out to the Potomac Mills uh, Burlington Coat Factory. It's more than great coats. <laughs> Say less. So, like, uh, you trying to not be fat no more? Or you just trying to be in shape? I'm just trying to be in shape. I'm just trying okay. to have my legs under me, dog. Okay. Yeah. You got to kind of, you know. Yeah. Right. Sex is an activity. Okay. You don't really get. Like, so, all the, for all the big yeah. people that is listening, what's your number one piece of advice when it comes to the bedroom? It, much like in sports, you do have to dictate the pace. Mm-hmm. Don't get too sped up. Mm-hmm. Take your time. If you feel the Fitbit overcharging, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take a moment. Take a breath. Suggest a change of position. Okay. okay, that's always a great way to catch your breath. Make sure you don't uh, catch a cramp or nothing. Yeah. Just right. be like, "Hey, let's do something else." But you got to say it like you can't say it like you're tired. You got to be like, hey. <laughs> "I feel like that's for ev- I feel like that's for everybody though." That's right. Well, sometimes key, you forget. You be using yeah. that. The switch of position is just a break. It's for you don't finish fast. You know, for you catch your breath. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Think, you know, uh, check your fantasy lineups. <laughs> he said, "Let me check your." <laughs> Real quick, I need Let to take a few calls. Yeah, real quick. Oh, it's like Saturday. It's like uh, like uh, it's midnight on Saturday. I gotta f- mm. <laughs> I put the lineup <laughs> in now. <laughs> 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 
If I don't put the lineup in now, it ain't going in. Yeah, right. I feel that, man. For sure. So uh, <laughs> we've been told you get all them big dude jokes. You be throwing out big dude jokes, right? I mean, a little bit. You okay. Know, I just, you know. Yeah. Just, if you see me. Uh-huh. You, know, you see me. I feel that. Right. So I just want to low-key, I've been wondering, as a, like, a comedian, right, you have to kind of obviously uh, – teeter on like what's appropriate what's not appropriate right sure so if it's something related to you like i know black people when we black people together we make black people jokes like racist jokes is funny when it's black people making black people jokes. no for sure but so like fat people jokes is the same thing big people jokes yeah you know what i definitely try to like if i look out like i won't get into that shit like depending on what side of town i'm on yeah like if i'm over by the beach everybody's in shit yeah. mm-hmm. there's no fat people yeah mm-hmm. so they can't so, like, relate and monica it's like you can't yeah, yeah. They don't know what it's like. Niggas haven't had a carb in years. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll kind of check and see who's out there. But I don't th- you know, that's kind of what I would okay. yeah. generally. And then in general, I feel like girls is kind of trying to like in the chubbier dudes more. Like they like the teddy bear. So like should, should people be worried? Think things about shifted. <laughs> it's really started when Fat Joe took his shirt off at spring break. Okay. <laughs> that was the beginning of the arc. And then it kind of keeps going up. And now we're at the the, the Drewski era. Mm. Okay. With the, you know, the Drewski. Right. Yeah. Everybody yeah. loves Drewski. Yeah. Shit is flying. <laughs> yeah. Dye your hair now. You, you do all type of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the Drewski era. Hey. Nah, I'm saying, hey, look. Hey, dude, Drewski here. Yeah. Dude's putting on for us. Yeah. yeah. You know, bring out your small vest. Mm-hmm. Do whatever small you want. Small vest. Yeah, undersized man. vest, man. Yeah, for Don't sure. Don't even fit that man. Hey, bro. <laughs> but. <laughs> all right. Respectable. And then um, two other real quick to get to know you things. You say your favorite team is the War or the, the Wizards. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite sports? What you what you be liking? Okay, my favorite sport to watch is basketball. Okay. Yes. I was actually good at playing football. Okay. Yes. I'm kind of in between. I'm just watching both. Toss some Premier League in there, but I think I gotta say basketball. Basketball is okay. my basketball, one. Basketball, definitely, definitely. I think me and Jay talked about that. Basketball is just so fun to watch. It is. It's just. It's just getting better and better. Mm-hmm. See, I'm actually opposite. So football, I love to watch. But I love to play basketball. That's real. Because basketball, find a pickup football game. Exactly, Ooh. you Your can play it. basketball mm-hmm. anywhere. That's why basketball is the most popular, one of the most popular sports in the world. Because anybody can pick up a basketball and, and shoot a hoop. For you sure. know what I'm saying? You can't fucking run around and tackle niggas whenever yeah. you're seeing. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's, that's like it. once a year, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, turkey <laughs> bowl. The turkey bowl. Yeah, there you go. And then um, last one for you. I heard you're in the anime as well. Okay. Let me hear your top. What's your what's your top favorite anime? I mean, I'm you know I'm a, I'm a throwback guy. Yeah. So I'm gonna say, Yu Yu Hakusho. Okay. Yep. Cowboy Bebop. Okay. Dragon Ball Z. Dragon I'm Ball Z's up there for sure. Gotta say, and then uh, Shippuden. Shippuden. Naruto, yeah. Okay. It was hard. Say less. It was. And hard. then I don't even know if I got what's my fit. Did I say four or five? You said four. Four. Uh. Put a key in there. That movie's just okay. Okay. My head up so you, do you still watch as much now? Not as much. Yeah. I don't know. Once I started paying. For my own cable bill, uh-huh. it just, uh, my priorities said. switched up. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I kind of fell off. But my brother, everybody's always just like, "Hey, you read the new shit?" I'm like, uh-huh. "Dog, I'm like, I'm behind on my light bill right now, dog. I don't know if I got, <laughs> I'm gonna get to it once I get once the lights. I, once back. I got, gotta yeah, make them I got, sacrifices yeah, when yeah, it comes. Yeah, yeah, I can to see the of. manga. I will read the manga. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, yeah. Everyone tried to get me to read that. John. I'm like, bro. First off, I want to see like the actions that's yeah. happening. I want to see the cool scenes that happen. But the black and white pictures, that's not for me, man. So let's get into this first segment, right? The don't trip question. So premise of the show, catchphrase is don't trip, we got you. So after I read the question, I'll say don't trip, and you throw we got you, and then give us your best advice on the scenario, situation, right? Okay. So the question is, what should you do if you and your boy are into the same girl? Don't trip. Okay, we got you. What you need to do, you got to be honest with your boy mm. immediately. Facts. Just- like right away. Right away. No. Like I'm feeling a little tingle. Hey, Listen, homie. friend, I'm for sure trying to be, I'm not even, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not 100% trying to do it. <laughs> if you want to make this like some sort of like fun, competitive type thing, <laughs> we could do it like it's like, like we're on sister, sister. Yeah. Like, just, I'm letting you know now. I think right. there's, there's no other, it's either that or like concede. Okay. It also depends on if you owe this friend money. Uh huh. If you owe your boy money, I think you gotta let him rock. Let yeah, him you okay. gotta let him rock. Yeah. Anything over eight dollars, you gotta let your man. <laughs> eight dollars, wait, that's hella specific. Why? I'm just saying, because eight is the price of uh, <laughs> any sandwich. You can get a sandwich for eight dollars. Yeah. Like sandwiching up, mm-hmm. 
deferred defers to that's the, the, yeah you owe you owe him something for sure okay respect you bro like we, that. Uh, <laughs> okay. hey listen to him eight dollars eight dollars eight bucks that's a fucking that's a uh, day that's a week pass on the metro that's a metro card mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's seven days on the train <laughs> Okay, okay. See, I, you never been in that situation where you and your homie was going after the same girl type? I mean, for sure I have. Oh, dang. So y'all y'all fought it? Y'all comp- it was a competition? Yeah. Well, I, it's like... I mean, it was, but it wasn't, you know? It was kind of like a, there was some head nods exchanged. Yeah. Things never... My boy gets her. He's like, hey, listen, man. I seen you working. Mm-hmm. I seen you working. All right. So, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, me personally. Like, apology I tipped yeah. the hat. <laughs> yeah, me personally. I'm just let them rock. You can have it. Go for it. Really? There's plenty of other ones out there. You yeah, know? I mean, that you know, is I'm, also true. Yeah. Bro. I think it kind of depends on, on how she rocking with it, too. Like, if she trying to play you and the boy at the same time, then it's like. Which is a completely different thing. Uh-huh. That's the thing that I've had a little more of. Okay. Just kind of like, you know, you can feel like, uh, like it's like, why is this girl talking to me? Mm-hmm. And then you're like, hey, y'all, so uh, what's the I see? Who's uh, mm-hmm. who you, uh, your man? Where's your man at? Uh-huh. I'm like, well, I'm I'm talking to you now. Uh huh. Like, it's just weird. It's, you it's can feel weird. it once when a, when someone you're trying to talk to is talking to you about one of your friends. It's like, ah, mm-hmm. what about what about what about there's a, there's two girls, right? Two girls, and you want her friend, but your her friend wants you. Do you know what I'm saying? You mean like the reverse, mm-hmm. of the inverse? Like mm-hmm. she come up, to, she come up to you. End. You're trying to reverse. Yeah, she reverse. come up to you, but you want her friend. You know what I'm saying? Man, mm-hmm. that one. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out that one. Yeah, that one. I've weird. been in that one. Yeah, and it's like I, you just, I've, I've thrown some hail marys and mm-hmm. they were not received. You know what I'm saying? I want my, I want her friend though. Yeah, but I'm just like, hey, you know, I know, but you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Never works, but you know, never right. works. At least in my experience. Nah, that joint hard for real. I think I think that's the same thing though. You kind of got to be straight up with with the girl. Be like, hey, I'm not feeling you. Like this ain't finna be the this ain't. Which be is the so one. hard to do. Yeah, it's it definitely is. it's definitely hard to do. But I feel like you like kind of if especially if the girl's like an actually good friend with her, like you being too nice with her. I know what to do. What you, you introduce her to your homie. Hey, you mean my uh so and so? You tr- bring you him over, her over, right? Introduce her to him. And then as they're talking, Final statistic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you go and talk to a friend. You yeah, know what I'm saying? My man, no friend. Yeah. <laughs> no friend. She's got <laughs> this man trying to dodge a whole problem. All right, for sure. <laughs> Hopefully that worked out. Next question is, my man's never serious and he's always cracking jokes, but I want him to be more serious. How do I handle this situation? Don't trip. Okay, we got you. Um, well, I, I'm currently... In a situation like this, I'm dating a woman, and she's like, "Dude, I just, just like, be yeah. like, quit fucking playing." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "I don't know how to yeah. stop." And I was so we had a serious talk about it. Okay. And I was like, "Listen, I, all I know is jokes." Yeah, I don't know if you went to uh, my high school, you would understand why I act this way. But she was kept it real with me. She was like, "Look, man, just like." Chill. Just be more every once in a while. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. I was like, I got you. I'm like, I always come through with the actions. Okay. But when I speak, I'm like, ah, just a little punchline. Ah, you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big head. <laughs> I feel like. So, would you personally ever like date another comedian then? Because they always cracking jokes can never yeah, take. That you. I mean, bit. that is the issue. The biggest issue with dating other comics is like, is that, but also like your personal life could end up in their routine. Right. Mm-hmm. Which joke hurts. Oh my God. <laughs> Seeing somebody tweet about some shit you did, the yeah. exact thing you did. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, so all oh, this dude fucks with his socks on. Yeah. Like, oh man, I oh, thought I, 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 was, I, I thought I was, was safe. Cold. You know what I'm saying? I thought me not having a manicure, I told you <laughs> about the trauma that I have from manicure, yeah. and, you, and then you tell everybody my socks are on. Right. That do be the issue. Yeah. Sometimes it works. I don't know how to make it work. So is that kind of what you do then? Like, that's what kind of grinds the girl's gears? Like, you be once oh. you mess up a little bit, you tweet it, and she'd oh, be like, no. oh, okay. No, no, no. I'm going to make fun of you to your face. Yeah. But... I just I definitely keep it off the keep okay. it off the tweets for sure. So when you when you uh, do your shows, your or skits or whatever, do you ever draw from like personal experience? Definitely. Okay. Does that make it? You think the content's better, or is it better when you like more creative and make something up type stuff? You know what? Yeah, I think is it's the best when 
it first happens for me. Okay. Like if there's something in the moment, I'm like, this is funny. The mm -hmm. first time I say it is always the best. Yeah. And then every other time of me like trying to like repeat it in the same way, it'd be yeah. like slightly off. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel that. So I, my, I try to keep my shit in the moment mm -hmm. as much as possible. Do you like write it down once you think of it pretty much? I'll just write down some keywords. Okay. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I like, if like if someone farted and it was funny, <laughs> I'll just write down like you know, fart in Jersey Mike's. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you could throw the something off of that. Yeah, like oh okay, and then this happened. To, you know. Okay. Like That's funny. Footnotes. Have you ever seen like something you said on stage or in a show like affect your relationships? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Positively or negatively. Sometimes good, sometimes not good. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time I, I, like one of the first big shows I ever did at the DC Improv, I made a joke sort of about the person I was seeing. Yeah. You know, I didn't use no names. I definitely didn't say any specific situations. But it was about our sex life. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And it was an issue. It okay. was definitely a problem. And sense. then we smoothed it out and things was good for a while after that. But yeah. I was like, okay. So okay. going forward, you kind, with did you kind of have to like adjust the way you write things or did you have, like ask for approval before you... I mean, honestly, stuff? I just do all that shit when I know the person I'm dating isn't watching. Okay. There's so many <laughs> okay. shows. There's there so go. many shows. Right. But if I'm just at a bar in Culver City... This ain't going to get back. This ain't going to get across town. <laughs> Type. I'm not get, there. I, could I get can this get away off. with this. But this, you know, I would never take that to the Comedy Central yeah. set. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's smart. That's smart. But like, like, hey, if it's Wednesday, I'm in goddamn... I'm in Gardena. But what if it's like, what this if it's between what, us? What if it's gold though? Like, what if it's something that you like you need yeah, you to have that, in there? You seen that um, SpongeBob episode where he was doing the comedy and it was about Sandy and it was like getting him all the, all the laughs and everything, but like she was mad at him for using that stuff? What if it's like that? Like you get great content, like you doing a great content, but it's hurting feelings. I mean, you know what? That's a conversation that you have to have. Yeah. yeah. I, Before or after? Me and my lady now, I was like, look, I got to, I might want to say this. Yeah. And it's stuff that I haven't even said yet, but I told her, <laughs> I talked to her right away. I was like, look, this was too funny. I just, if I need to, mm -hmm. can I? Can I throw this one? She was like, okay. Yeah, okay. But I, you got to just ask. See, that's great, though. Permission. That's great. Because we always needed. we always preach on here communication yeah. is key. And even when you, you over here, you got to make jokes about you know your personal life. You got to talk about it, right? You right. can't just assume that they're going to be okay. You got to talk about it, and it is a thin line. Sometimes it's like, okay, you can't do it. Right. That makes I've sense. definitely been you know vetoed on some stuff. That's respectable. All right, let's hit this last segment real quick. We're going to get a couple of these high questions in. All right, so you like these a lot. I love JJ loves questions. getting out whatever's in his it's mind. It's a don't trip right? pack, it's okay? It's a don't so trip pack. You, smoke do you don't smoke? Trip pack. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm here. I'm Go ahead and light up. He said. To the weed store. We about to light up right <laughs> now. Don't light up, Jay. Oh, oh, oh. You feel me? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like Jimmy Butler. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy Butler. You feel me? So this is what we call the don't trip pack, okay? It's that don't trip pack right here. All right. Hit them with it. All right. First question is, do fish drink water? Nah, I think I think they drink. I think it's just pee. Did you whoa, think they, whoa. Wait, turn on. Hold up. I, that's what? not even what? the direction I was going. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> what? Wait. Nah, why? feel me. Why? Why? Okay. Nah, talk your this. talk. Talk your talk. There's water. They're breathing the water. Yes. But then there's also pee. Where does that go? In that, that means they're breathing Do pee. Do fish pee? That's my question. That's the question that That's would the help question you answer that I need to answer before I could get back to I feel like they the do. actual. I feel like they but do. if they pee, that means they drink. Because then, you know what I'm saying? I see what you're saying. Uh -huh. I see what you're saying. So, yes. Damn. So, yeah, then they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to. Pee is water. Pee is. Right. Pee is a liquid. Yeah, it's. I don't know if it's water. It's a liquid, though. <laughs> it's water-based. Water-based is that there's a lot of water in there. I'll give yes. you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. Okay, so they do drink water because they pee. Because they pee. But they're also drinking their pee. Sometimes. Sometimes. Just based on location. So they're Because I think it's just like a constant. They're yeah. just like moving and it's mm -hmm. like... <laughs> they, don't even know, they don't even know it's pee till it's too late. Okay. Wow. 
like, <laughs> he's like, ah, I already drank it. Ah, I already drank it though. Ah, sh- <laughs> think that type. So they breathe and drink water. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. I cool. think you. I mean, shit. Mm. They're just in there all the time. They gotta. I mean, what else is there? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. That's nothing. Cause they eat. Yeah. And when you eat, you get thirsty. Yeah, you want some. Gotta wash it down. Little, you can't just. <laughs> I had some dry French fries today. I had <laughs> parched. Lord, the uh, the biscuits from Popeyes or something like that, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. You want? <laughs> Depending on the shift, Popeyes biscuits. Are, it depends on the time of day. Uh, who's there? Do you know them personally? Yeah. But we we getting off topic. Okay. <laughs> All right, for sure, for sure. All right. Next question is: Are arms for your chair? Just chairs for your arms? No. Why not? They're armrests. But the But that is a chair. So what, what exactly? So when you're sitting down, rest. yes. Body rest. Body rest. So why don't we call it a body rest? Because it's a chair. Because it's already a chair. Yes. So you can't be like, hey, here's three chairs. Nah, it's just damn, that one fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you. That one was good. Cause it is because it is Ooh, just, okay, arm, it's arm. just a chair for your arm because it that's where your arm's gonna sit. I think a chair is where somewhere you sit. What about your feet? You got a foot rest. How do you guys handle it when you're on a, a flight? Uh, oh, heck and, no. And, Who and, gets and, the arm I'm rest? too big to be sharing that joint, bro. I, I'm getting there. Once I sit down, I'm taking both arm rests up. If I'm, I'm in the sit. aisle, <laughs> if I'm in the aisle, I'll be nice and let the person you're in the middle have that. Yeah, middle. yeah. And once they fall asleep, they arm fun, gonna slip off somehow. I'll be like, yeah, like that, just like that. But I do think that besides me, the person in the middle should get both arm rests. They should. Because That's, you know what? They should. I like that. Yeah, the person in the middle should get both arms. What about when you're driving? When I'm driving? You put your, on the center console. You know, you got the left hand on and then the center console. Who get, who get the center console? I feel like you can share that joint. But yeah. it's not big enough. But it depends. Yeah. If you're not. driving with your lady, you're going to share that joint. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. I get Selfish. it. You off the arm rest? I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, you off the it. arm rest. <laughs> but okay, for airplanes, it's easy because the, the person on the... On the window already has a blessing. They got the wall to right. step on. The they aisle got it. the leg room, but the person in the middle just stuck. So they should get both armrests as their blessing. That's I think that's the that's the reason behind that. I think this is true. I think the two middle armrests should uh, go up and down. Mm-hmm. I think, and the person in the middle should be the only one who can, can control them. Uh-huh. I think they should be able to make them shits like like head height walls. Uh-huh. Yeah. You oh, so oh. I'm in the middle already. Let me Wait, just. I if, ooh, if they had a little I thing that. A Wait, little I, divider so that pulled up. Do you actually pull up the thing to like sleep on the armrest? No, nah, no. Nah, I was crazy. about to say. I, that's not. I ain't never thought what you about think, that. What you that, think? I mean, I wonder if it's possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to try it out. What you think about on. people leaning? Spirit their Airlines, chair back hit us up. Yeah. Leaning their chair back. Are you tapping on them? Can you put your chair up? Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna I'm kick it a couple times to see if they put can my put knee chair. right in their back. <clears throat> yeah, too tall for that. Put that shit up. But. <laughs> Sorry, we got to cut this one short. Yeah, we out oh. of studio time, man. So we got to cut this episode a little bit short. That was on me, y'all. <laughs> we was on BPT it's all for good. real. We was hoping. Yeah, yeah, he was. It was. Yeah, shit happened. See, hey, what I, what had happened was and then when I came when I got on the highway. Uh huh. They were like, "Okay, you gotta just hold on a second. And, <laughs> and I did. And so, but now we're here. And, <laughs> and thank you for watching. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Thank y'all for watching, man. You want to give a little shout out to any shows? Anything you got going on in the future? Uh, September 30th, I am back in DC at the DC Comedy Loft. Okay. This could be something with Trevor Joyner, my boy Trev. Mm-hmm. Me and him co headlining. It's going to be fun. All right. We're going to have all this stuff in the bio. Um, check out his videos. Check out his his comedy skits. Check out everything he got for it. But we appreciate you coming on, man. It was a great episode. Yes, sir. If y'all watch, if y'all listening, go watch on YouTube. See some genuine reactions. Uh, see Jay and Jamal, Jamal, Jamel hit that uh, don't trip back or whatever. So uh, get right <laughs> with that. Um, anything else you got to say? Yeah. Just subscribe to our new Snap show. Yeah. It's don't trip. Yeah. Search don't trip. Yeah. Snapchat. Yes, sir. Subscribe to that. You love the Snap show, man. We trying to get, we kind of go up on all platforms. Y'all check us out anywhere you got and uh, leave us five star ratings. But above all, don't trip. We got you. Solid. Cool Thank, Thank you, you, my guy. Yeah, hey, appreciate no, you. We appreciate you, man. That was funny. <laughs>
But when we're not focused on football, we're focused on whatever you're interested in.